After that, I would like to touch a few things on fats. You know, fat is, a, is stored in an adipose tissue. It is a main store for fatty acids, and it is fatty acids are used for our energy. And, and the lipids and foods, they enhance flavor, taste, aroma, crispiness, flavors, and then it makes us texture smooth, creamy, mouthfeel, juiciness, and very good to eat. And we had uh, energy stored by fat is thousand times more than glycogen or carbohydrate. So what I want to say is that I don't want you all to go back from the symposium and think that fat is all bad. If you don't have fat, you will end up like this. This is a lipodystrophy patient. If you had fat, then it is more agreeable. You need some fat. So, now in modern words, we can call it, you get fat, you got to have cake depot, no? <laughs> and then fat is, adipose tissue is not only for storing fats. It has an endocrine function. And it is, it is highly regulated. Our fat content in the body is highly regulated by leptin. If you had you know, high adipose stores, there will be increased leptin, which will reduce your appetite and then food intake and increase the metabolic activity so that we don't have excess much fat in our body. If there is low adipose tissue level, then the leptin production is reduced and then you will have a good appetite and then reduce metabolic activity. So our body, fat in the body is regulated very closely. And then with a congenital leptin deficiency, we can have a voracious appetite, morbid obesity, immunosuppression, and hypothalamic hypogonadism. So it is not that fat which is bad. It is something gets wrong with a fat controlling mechanism in this fat problems. And also the adipose tissue can produce TNF-alpha, which is the pro-inflammatory cytokines, which can lead to inflammation. And in liver, the chronic inflammation leads to fibrosis, cirrhosis, and mitosis, HCC. And there is also a adiponectin, which negatively correlates with obesity. So what I want to see is that the regulatory mechanisms are dysfunct in these fatty liver diseases. So this picture shows that the adipose tissue as an endocrine organ producing adipokines, RES proteins like angiotensinogen, endocannabinoids, lipid transport, epolipoprotein E control, enzymes, immune, or immune functions, and immune proteins of fibron fibrinolytic system, and pro-inflammatory and anti-inflammatory cytokines. So if we had excess fat, then we will become obese. But the BMI we are using Traditionally, it doesn't reflect the fat distribution. You can have a similar body fat with different body composition. The Leo Saloma body composition quavare, but they have a same amount of fat in their body. Especially our Asians, compared to the Caucasians, we have a very high intra-abdominal fat accumulation which is very dangerous, which can lead to nephalty. Because intra-abdominal fat, fat is, we call it, subcutaneous fat. It's uh, not a subcutaneous fat, it's a visceral fat, which is more toxic to the body than the subcutaneous fat.
Sifam, caring for well-being.